Hey there, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be talking about how to perform a factory reset and restore your iPhone SE. So let's begin with the video now. So what's up everyone, welcome back to Surge Tech, Sergio here. In this channel I do a lot of tech reviews and tutorials, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this. There's gonna be links to everything that I talk about in this video in the description down below, so do check that out and let's get right on with the video. So the reason you may wanna do this is that maybe your phone is freezing up and you can actually access to any app. Maybe you wanna delete everything for a trading or give it to someone, or also maybe you forgot your passcode and you just can't access to your phone. So in this video I'm gonna show you two methods that you can do the factory reset and the first one is going to be through the settings and the second one is going to be if you can't access to your phone so let's begin with the first one which is going to be the settings one so just go on your regular home screen go on settings and then scroll down all the way to general once in there you're going to go all the way down to reset and you're going to see an option that is going to say erase all content and settings so you're going to select that and here it's going to tell you that all the information is going to be updated into your iCloud and you have the option to either back up and then erase your phone and just erase it now which is what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna press erase now it's gonna ask for your passcode so you just input your passcode and then it's gonna be the last warning which is gonna tell you that this is gonna delete all the media and data and reset all the settings on your phone so once you're ready just press erase iPhone and all the factory reset will begin and the second step like I told you before it's gonna be if you can access to your phone by using your passcode all we're gonna need for this is gonna be a laptop or any computer it can be Windows Mac whatever you have as long as you have iTunes and you're also going to need an USB type C cable to connect to your MacBook Pro or whatever can connect to your computer. So you're going to make sure you plug in your phone to the computer and once you do you're going to make sure you press the volume up and then together you're going to press volume down and the power button at the same time. So we're going to do that and that's going to take you to the power off menu where you can slide to power off and that's what we're going to do and once you do that automatically you're going to press volume down and power button in order to get to recovery mode so we're gonna do that and we're just gonna wait a couple seconds until a power cord and a computer shows up on the phone and as you can tell we're gonna have the power cord and the computer on the phone and in our laptops or computer you can see that there's a message saying that there is a problem with the iPhone and it requires to be updated or restored so what we're gonna do is select restore on the computer as you can tell restore and update and here your Mac is gonna prepare to restore the software on your iPhone so as soon as the laptop extracts the software the factory reset will begin and now it's going to show our Apple logo and now the little bar here at the bottom is going to show as you can tell so all you have to do is wait for that to finish loading and now you can see on the laptop that your iPhone has been restored to its factory settings and it's restarting so just please leave your iPhone connected and now when the phone turns on again the little bar is going to show up so we're done with the laptop or computer that you're using now we can just focus on the phone which should take around three or five minutes and now we can see that our iPhone has been completely restored to its factory settings as you can tell right now and it's ready to use so that was it on the video on how to perform a factory reset and restore your iPhone SE if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and as always I will see you in the next one